Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Big developments on the coronavirus outbreak here in Connecticut. Let's take a look at where the numbers stand. More than 200 people since Monday have tested positive, bringing the total to 618 across the state. 12 people have died. We also learned the state has placed an order for 1 million N95 masks and 1 million surgical masks. A request for 1,000 ventilators has also been made. Dorms at Eastern and Southern Connecticut State Universities will be used potentially for patients or medical workers who don't want to risk bringing the virus home. I'm afraid um, this is going to continue for at least another week, two weeks, in terms of escalating the number of infections. The governor says 10 of the 12 who died were over the age of 80 and more men than women have been infected. Connecticut has seen a spike in unemployment claims, more than 100,000 in less than two weeks. The Department of Labor is working on ways to process claims faster. Normally, it takes three days to get an unemployment check, but right now we're told it's taking 10 to 15 days. The governor has authorized staff to work more overtime and on Saturdays. Many people are also being urged to use an automatic system to reduce backlog. Governor Lamont also announced Tuesday schools will be closed through April 20th, but that could continue through the summer. School officials say this is not a surprise. Many districts can continue on their plans for remote learning. Others are focusing on expanding summer school to make up for lost classes. All right, your Wednesday is going to be mostly cloudy. There's a chance for a couple of showers in the afternoon. Not a big deal there. Then sunshine returns on Thursday, a high of 54. A couple of showers are in the forecast for Friday, 52. And then Saturday, some clouds roll in, but rain may hold off until later in the day. But it looks like a soggy Sunday with a high of 47. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.